Bismillah Madrim. Today we will talk about endometrial cancer updates 2023. And from the FIGO guideline, we will discuss the staging of endometrial cancer and its comparison to the previous staging. So let us discuss the FIGO staging of endometrial cancer 2023. First comes the stage 1, in which the tumor is confined to uterine corpus and ovary. It is further divided into 1A, 1B and 1C. 1A is further divided into 1A1, which is non-aggressive histological type limited to an endometrial polyp or confined to the endometrium. 1A2, which is non-aggressive histological types involving less than half of myometrium with no or focal lymphovascular space invasion. 1A3, low-grade endometrite carcinoma limited to the uterus and ovary. 1B, which is non-aggressive histological types with invasion of half of, or more than half of myometrium and with no or focal lymphovascular space invasion. 1C is aggressive histological type that is limited to a polyp or confined to the endometrium. So this stage is, is different from the previous staging in which we just had 1A and 1B. 1A was the one in which there were less than 50% of myometrial invasion and in 1B there was more than 50% of myometrial invasion. There were no further deviance of 1A and there was no 1C in the previous guideline. Now this is the screenshot from that updated guideline of 2023 and you can study stage 1 from this screenshot. Next comes the stage 2 in which there is invasion of cervical stroma with extra uterine extension or with substantial lymphovascular space invasion or aggressive histological types with myometrial invasion. It is further divided into 2A, 2B and 2C. 2A is the one in which there is invasion of cervical stroma of non-aggressive histological types. 2B, there is substantial lymphovascular space invasion of non-aggressive histological types. 2C, aggressive histological types with any myometrial involvement. This staging is also different from the previous one in which there was no further deviation of stage 2 and it was only written that stage 2 is the one in which tumor invades the cervical stroma. Now this is the screenshot from that updated guideline and you can study the stage 2 from this screenshot in detail. Next come the stage 3 in which there is local or regional spread of the tumor with any histological subtype. It is further divided into 3A, 3B and 3C. 3A there is invasion of uterine serosa and nexa or both by direct extension or metastasis. It is further divided into 3A1 which is the one in which the tumor spreads to the ovary or fallopian tube except when meeting stage 1A3 criteria. In 3A2 there is involvement of uterine subserosa or spread through the uterine serosa. Next come the 3B in which there is metastasis or direct spread to the vagina and or parametria or pelvic peritoneum. It is further divided into 3B1 in which there is metastasis or direct spread to the vagina and or parametria. 3B2 in which there is metastasis to the pelvic peritoneum. Next come the 3C in which there is metastasis to pelvic or paraaortic lymph nodes or both which is further divided into 3C1, 3C2 and 3C, 3C1 and 3C2. In 3C1, there is metastasis to pelvic lymph nodes, which can be micrometastasis or macrometastasis. 3C2 is the one in which there is metastasis into paraaortic lymph nodes up to the renal vessels with or without metastasis to the pelvic lymph nodes. It can be micrometastasis or macrometastasis. Now, this staging is also different from the previous one in which the stage 3 was the one in which there was local or regional spread of the tumor. 3A was the one in which the tumor invaded uterine serosa or adnexa. 3B was the one in which the tumor invaded vagina or parametrium. 3C1, pelvic lymph nodes were involved. 3C2, paraerotic lymph nodes were involved. Coming to the last stage, which is stage 4, in which the tumor spread to the bladder mucosa or intestinal mucosa and or distant metastasis. So it is further divided into 4A, 4B and 4C. 4A is the one in which there is invasion of bladder mucosa and or intestinal mucosa. 4B is the one in which abdominal peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis is in port. In 4C, there are distant metastasis 
including the metastasis to any extra or intra abdominal lymph nodes above the renal vessels lungs liver brain or bone if we compare it with a previous staging 4a is was the one in which there was invasion of the bladder and bowel mucosa 4b was the one in which intra abdominal metastasis or inguinal lymph nodes were involved there was no 4c in the previous guideline now this is the screenshot from that updated guideline and you can study stage 4 from this screenshot so thank you so much that was all about endometrial staging updates from 2023 FICO guideline thank you so much subscribe on obscene guide allah hafiz